Hi everyone and welcome back to Casa Caribe. Today we are in our kitchen, but not because I'm going to teach you a recipe, but because I'm going to teach you how to dye with the waste of the previous recipe. So let's go to the video. In a previous video, I explained you that dyeing with natural colors is a three-step process and that the first process is the preparation of the fabric, which is very important. And I teach you how to use a binder like soy meal to increase the durability of the color, but also to increase the color itself. In this video, we're not going to use soy meal as a binder, but I'm going to explain a different technique that I use in a mordan or a mordente. And in, in this case, we're going to use potassium alum. This is a product that is normally used as a deodorant, but also to protect after you shave. The first thing we have to do is we weight all the fabric. And then we have to wash the fabric really well. You can leave the fabric soaked for one night, but one hour is also okay. And then you wash the excess of soap. But remember, the fabric has to be moister. I couldn't find any potassium alum in powder, so I'm going to use a hammer. Then we wait in order to get a 10% of the total weight of the fabric. We heat water and we put all the powder inside, mixing all the time. Then you put the fabric inside and let it soak for at least one hour. In a pot we put water and all the onion skins. I'm using a lot of onions, but with two or three onions you can have a really great result. We mix, making sure that all the onions are wet. After 30 minutes, I check for the color, and this is kind of the final color you're going to get, but I want a more richer color, so I wait for one hour. And this is the final color. Once you have the color that you want, you pass it to a sieve to clean the color. and all the skins of the onions, you can put it on the compost or on the organic bean. Then we remove all the water with the potassium alum. Some plants really love this mineral. Then we take the fabric that is still wet with the mordant and we submerge it into the color. I made a really big mistake because I didn't put gloves, but please put gloves and don't make the same mistake as I did. Because even if it's safe, it's better to take care of your hands. We let them soak, it depends on the color that you want. I want a bright yellow, so I leave it for one hour, but if you're looking for an orange, a bright orange, you can leave it more time. Then we remove the excess of color. And the rest of the color you can put it on a glass container and you can use it later. So as you can see, every time you dye with natural colors, it feels like magic. Because from an onion that is very simple like this, you get a really bright 
yellow like this this is so wet I'm going to dry it now that it's not very sunny outside and then after one or two weeks that is dry you can wash it with soap but it shouldn't lose any color so if you wonder do I need a more than or not do I need a binder or not I'm going to answer the question this is the same fabric this is without any mordant. I just took the fabric and put it there. And this is with uh, alum potassium mordant. You can see the difference. This is a very light yellow and this is an orange. If you're looking for a color like this, you can use without a mordant. But remember that this would fade with time. It said this will maintain its color more longer. Let me know if you want to see more videos with this technique because I really love, love to make more. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave them on the comments. Please subscribe so I can grow my channel. In this way, I can make more videos like this. See you in the next one. Bye.